One mum's controversial birthday opinion has divided the internet after she admitted she will not throw her daughter a yearly party. She took to TikTok saying as a family they'd still celebrate her special day but that ultimately she finds parties unenjoyable for many of the guests. Di Wilcox is here to talk about this one. Hi Di. Hello Mon. What do you think of this approach? Not a yearly party but still celebrating. I think every child must have their birthday celebrated every year somehow and the reason being is um, celebrating a birthday Birthday impacts a child's social and emotional well-being. Their self-esteem can be impacted and, and when they know that they're so loved and, and people are surrounding them because they're that very special, it's really going to, to build that self-esteem um, and I think everyone deserves one day a year where they're celebrated just for existing on this planet. What's your take on kids' birthday parties though? Are they important? Look, birthday parties can be fun and it's a great opportunity for children to be surrounded by family and friends, but they can lose their fun very quickly if mum and dad are stressed trying to set this birthday party up, they're worried about the financial pressure of the birthday party. The child wants their parents to be engaged and present for their birthday. So I think as a family you can set special traditions yourself. For my uh, girls, my mum used to buy a single helium balloon with a birthday card and leave it on their desk at school school for them to find at recess or lunch and that little thing made my kids feel super special. Birthday parties, they can get out of hand. Do you think perhaps that sometimes they're more about the parents than the kids? I think parents are putting an extraordinary amount of pressure on themselves to create the perfect party, when in reality their child's quite happy for a couple of friends to come over, have some pizza and some junk food. But I think social media has a part to play here. We're seeing pictures of extravagant parties, extravagant cakes, and parents are feeling the pressure to give their kids the best. And I totally understand that, but we need to remember that our kids would much rather we're happy and engaged on their day than stressed out. All right, so what advice do you have for parents then to keep festivities in check? There's a few tips. My first one is set a budget and stick to it and remind yourself everybody's in a different financial situation. Second of all, decide if you're, you're going to invite the whole class to your child's birthday party or you're going to invite a select few. Now if you're going to invite a select few, make sure you call the parents, let them know you want to keep it on the down low, you don't want to hurt anyone who's left out's feelings. Then you set up the venue, the theme, the date and keep the activity simple. But remind yourself your child's birthday is not a status symbol. On the flip side, if you're being invited to a lot of parties, Di, mm. what's the going rate for a gift, do you think? Because it can get very expensive as a guest. It can get very expensive. Um, generally $20 to $30 for a gift, maybe a bit more if it's a best friend or a family member. But what I want to say to parents here is when your child's receiving a gift, um, make sure they thank the guest, take the gift, put it to one side. And I recommend that they open the presents all together when all the guests have gone to just save that embarrassment and awkwardness and get your child, you know, use that as a teachable moment to tell your child, be grateful for everything you've received um, because not everyone is in the same situation. Di Wilcox, it's been good to chat with you again. Thanks for having me.